what is the deal youtube what's the deal youtube welcome back to the channel and what a debacle of a game if you go back and you watch um my video leading up to this my preview video for this dolphin game i kind of laid out a couple things that i felt like the miami dolphins needed to do in order to win this game and to say they did not do any of them not one single bullet point that i put up there um were the dolphins able to accomplish tonight um i said that we definitely needed balance and <clears throat> wrong answer uh 15 yards rushing from lamar miller i said uh there's no way in hell we can win a game with Ryan Tannehill throwing the ball 40, 50 times. Ryan Tannehill throws the ball 41 times. Um, two interceptions from Ryan Tannehill. No pressure on Tom Brady. Plenty of missed tackles. Go back and watch that video. I said that one tackle, one tackle. As Soon as they catch the ball, you bring them down. Deion Lewis, the first drive of the game, um, catches a, like a two, three yard pass and takes it 17 uh, yards, keeps the drive moving. They end up scoring a touchdown, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway because the offense played like absolute shit. Now the defense was able to look a little bit better um, throughout the, you know, after that first drive, they basically shut the Patriots down like five, six drives in a row. And the offense was not able to move the ball at all. No balance, absolutely no balance. Couldn't get any running game. But Lamar Miller only touched the ball nine times. And, I mean, it's not like their running backs were world beaters. 72 yards for Deion, um, for Blunt, 19 yards for uh, Lewis, 72, 19, 72, 82. 91 rushing yards from the starting running backs not I mean not world beating numbers for those guys to any stretch of the imagination but I mean just a uh, lack of doing anything I kept screaming at the screen all right we need matchups you know one thing that the Patriots is going to do is they're going to take away your number one weapon I kept screaming why the fuck do we have this six foot three rookie sitting on the sideline with all that speed and not fucking use him put him out there make him the third or fourth guy they're out there targeting on landry they're targeting probably on um jordan on cameron put him out there and make him a matchup problem and you never really seen it I've, i heard his name called like one time so no not using our our, our our personnel, which is something the Patriots do well, man. They use the personnel very well, splitting running backs out, lining r little speedy Deion Lewis up against a big-ass linebacker, which is a matchup nightmare. That The tight ends and the running backs are some of your best matchups, and that's why I was screaming for Jordan Cameron to get out there because you put the running back up against a fucking linebacker, and nine times out of ten, the running back is going to be too slow. And that's what you kept seeing with Deion Lewis. Him in space is a problem. Same thing with your big tight end versus either they're going to be too fast for the linebacker and too big for the corner. So you're, you're in a dilemma unless you have a linebacker that's fast enough to guard him. And we don't. We're sticking Koa Misi out there trying to – it's not going to work. Anyway, um – but I, I say this was a measuring stick for us. Let's call this game a measuring stick. And we got beat with the measuring stick. We got the shit beat out of us with the measuring stick. Tom Brady damn near throwing for 400 yards in this game. 356 yards, four touchdowns, an ass whooping. And Cameron Wake went down with an injury. Just adding insult to injury. Anyway, man, I'm done. I don't even know why the fuck I stayed up till 4.18 to watch this fucking game. And I got to be up at 6 o'clock in the fucking morning. But I stayed up to watch my team play. And they fucking went out here and laid a fucking egg. You know what? Fuck this game. And fuck it. Man, 